Coming up, I take my micro camper into one of England's most beautiful places, we get an awkward welcome at a local pub, and finally, I find a beautiful spot to cook up one of my best camper meals yet. But first, you join me outside a random stranger's house. Ooh, good morning. From Arrowhead Close. Somewhere in the center of Gloucester City. So uh, yeah. A really nice, calm, quiet night last night. Really peaceful, no sound whatsoever in this quiet, tucked away little cul-de-sac. I've just been quietly here, chilling out for the last half hour with the lights off, watching a bit of YouTube, and uh, it's been good. <laughs> it's been good, actually. I had a free night in Gloucester. I tell you what, compared to what I could have spent last night in a hotel, Last night was a winner. So let me get up and get dressed, and then we'll start making a good brew for the day ahead. So where I was thinking of staying last night was just on the right here, which was on park for night, which quite frankly, I don't recommend. Um, didn't look that inviting. What can we see this morning? Is that van still there? Yeah, the van's there. Do we stay there? Yeah, we'll have a wash there, why not? Okay, we are parked up, we've got a van behind us. Let me show you the wing mirror there. I think an old Peugeot boxer. They've been here since last night, that's who I saw parked up here last night. Um, yeah, I just didn't fancy it last night. When I came across it in last week's video, it just didn't appeal to me that much. Didn't look safe. The park is right there. All those people that had all the off-license specials, they'll be in bed till about 1pm, so uh, we ain't got to worry about them disturbing us this morning. And I've actually got some stuff to show you in the back in a minute. A company recently reached out to me called Team You. Now, you've probably heard of them. I've certainly heard of them. Seen all the Facebook advertisements, all the YouTube ads. They are literally everywhere right now. And when they reached out to collaborate, I thought, yeah, Let's do a little team you haul and I'll show you what I've got. DJI carry case from a Mini 2 drone. I've been wanting one of these for quite a while, but everywhere I saw it online, I won't mention certain sites, but they were too expensive for my budget. And when I searched on team you, I think this was half the price of what I saw elsewhere. You got all the inserts there for the drone. And the thing I'm most excited about is this U-Rig selfie stick. I recently watched a Paul Messner YouTube video I don't know if you guys watch him as well, where he's going through all of his filming kit. And this was one of the things that he mentioned. This is what he uses to film his videos. And I thought I'd have a little look online and see how much these go for. I wasn't able to find this under 40 pounds anywhere else. As soon as I searched it on TeamU, I think it was 26 pounds. So nearly half price what it was elsewhere. Now here's the really good part. It's a big thank you to you guys for supporting me and watching these sponsor segments, which helps me get out and film these videos. I was able to wing an exclusive discount code from TeamU in the link below. You can get up to hundred pounds worth of free coupons on the TeamU site. There's no sign up fee. There's no monthly cost to download the TeamU app. It's basically just an online shopping app with huge discounts, up to 90% off most items, including my additional discount below, where you can claim up to hundred pounds worth of free coupons. So go download the TeamU app, go and claim your free coupons and go and see what bargains you can get today. And you can have a TeamU haul just like me. Seriously though, I save money on a lot of this stuff. Most of all, the Uvic selfie stick and the DJI carry case. Genuinely couldn't have got that cheaper anywhere else. So go download the app, go see what you think. Now I need a wash and a cup of tea. friends are going. Fare ye well, O oh weary traveller. Salute you on your journey. What do you guys do? Water first or milk first? Water first for me. Also, get chance to use my extended table. Hey, <laughs> not bad at all. That can be the tea table. We'll call that the tea table, shall we? Cup of tea, bit of milk. We can also put 
like the Ridge Monkey accessories on there. That just makes a huge difference, you know, just having that little bit of extra space to put some stuff on, get it out of the way, and the main cooking space is nice and clear. Nice bit of fat and grease for the egg as well. Oh yes, that's done, son. The perfect split. Lovely chubby. Mm. I'm going to demolish this. Get everything packed away, and then we'll head off to the Cotswolds for the day. Going. I'm going to I'll follow you through the black and the blue Whatever the mountain will climb to the next Honey, I'm with you through life and to death Welcome to Durham Continue Park Continue for half a mile Yeah, thank you So here we are on the long driveway at Durham Park. Just spoke to a lovely lady, National Trust volunteer, who told me where to go all the way down this long driveway here. About a 10, 15 minute walk will take us to the mansion house. And then we can see a little church and chapel there as well. And that's kind of where the hub of Durham Park is. So have a little walk around, have a little explore, see what Durham Park has to offer. Along this journey of mine through Gloucester and Gloucestershire and the Cotswolds, I haven't really done much walking and exploring, so it's good to get the old legs out and uh, get them walking. Yeah, nice little place this actually. Free parking for National Trust membership. I always recommend anybody who watches these videos to get a National Trust membership, although they're not very favorable to people filming on their grounds, uh, for £10 a month. I think it's about £10 a month. Me, my wife Alyssa, and my son Henry, we get to visit a plethora of different National Trust places on our weekends together. that up there? Some kind of mushroom, fungus or whatever. Anybody knowledgeable on funguses? Are you a, a fungi, should we say? Excuse the pun. <laughs> what is that? Leave a comment below. Is it edible? I've heard of one mushroom that's commonly referred to as the chicken of the woods. The chicken, the chicken of the woods that you can eat, but uh, I don't know if that was it. Ah, right. We're getting somewhere. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. So that must be the house. And these must be the gardens. After strolling through the beautiful grounds, I took my walk inside the mansion, where I knew I was going to be confronted if I openly filmed. So bear with me while I try and show you the inside of this gorgeous 17th century house. Well, I'm in. I'm into Derwin, Derwin, Derwin Park, I think it's called. Durham, Durham Park. It's gonna be particularly difficult to film inside the house, but I'll do my absolute very best to stealth film as much as I can. They've taken my bag off me. Can't go in with the bag. So, uh, yeah, enjoy what you can, because uh, <laughs> they're a bit, bit hot on it here. Security's tight. Okay, off we go.
Well, I made it out of the house undetected. Hopefully, I was able to get some footage for you there. I might put a bit of voiceover, maybe, who knows. But if you've got any info about this place or the family that used to live here, a very wealthy family that used to live here, then leave me a comment. But that is one incredible house to have a look around. I made it. My God, that is a hell of a walk coming from the house back to the car park. The walk down there didn't seem too hard. That's probably because I was walking downhill as opposed to walking uphill. But I'm back, I'm back. I think we'll head down now to Castle Coombe. We'll go and have a snack down there, possibly a cream tea if they've got it. I fancy a bit of a cream tea now after that walk. See what Castle Coombe has to offer. And then I'm looking forward to getting some steak and mash in my belly before we head home. That's your stereotypical photo right there. That's the photo everyone wants to get on that bridge. I've driven back in time, I think. Oh. Right, we're here. We made it. Managed to park only about seven or eight mile away. Um, all the free car parking was unfortunately taken. Just as I'd done about four loops to try and get a free space as people were coming and going, I noticed uh, a family that just turned up managed to squeeze in a space. Well, fair play to you guys. Hope you enjoy your day. I wasn't so lucky, unfortunately. So, uh, what's the parking charges here? Let's have a look, shall we? Okay, oh, not too bad, actually. In fact, it's cheaper than Shrewsbury. I think we'll do up to two hours a quid. Straight away, just coming from the car park, we're greeted with a beautiful little home called April Cottage. And can you imagine how lucky and also how wealthy you'd have to be to live here? Leave a comment below. What's a guess on the uh, average property price in Castle Coombe. Eh? Be interested to know your thoughts. I'm gonna say, hmm, for a little pokey two bed with some old windows, maybe a bit of mold inside. Gotta be at least a mill in it. Gotta be. <laughs> Well, I'm here after an eight mile walk downhill. I'm dreading going back. We've arrived at St. Andrew's Church, Castle Coon. Not a huge amount to see in the little village of Castle Coon. I suppose it's more the atmosphere and the architecture that people come for. But uh, I do love a good church, as you guys know. village Castle Coombe would have been back in the day. You see places like this tucked away in the countryside wouldn't have been very sought after. But obviously today they are. If anyone's got any info on this church leave a comment below let me know when it was built and who by or who used to attend what the village used to be like. Do you know somebody who lives in Castle Coombe? Have you got a millionaire friend? Lovely little place though. I would like to live in a place like this, but uh, I'm afraid my budget doesn't allow that. Ancient Monuments Act, 1913 and 1931. Any person injuring or deaf defacing this monument will be liable to prosecution according to law. I don't know anyone would. This seems to be the uh, usual spot where people take a photo. Yeah, let's follow the crowd, shall we? Let's do it. That'll do. <laughs> so what do we got? What kind of amenities have we got in Castle Coombe? We've got the Castle Inn. We've got the Wadworth. Food served 12 till 2.30, 6 till 8.30. Well, we're just about here at the wrong time, unfortunately. I could have done with the burger and chips right now. Although I can't imagine burger and chips is on the menu in a place like this. I just wonder who lives in these places. Hang on. I just saw an ice cream. 
I saw an ice cream sign. Yeah, I've got to do that. Lovely old lady in there. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? You okay? Yes, just waiting for the blue sky to come. Oh, if only we had it, eh? If okay. only. I think we'll go for the heavenly honeycomb, yeah. if you don't mind. It looks lovely. Is it £2.30? The spoon is just under the lid there. Brilliant. Let me just try and get the exact change for you if I can. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very, very much. much indeed. Although I didn't get a chance to have my cream tea, the ice cream went down a treat just the same. Right, just before we go, let's pop our head in the Wadworth, shall we? And have a quick look what it looks like. An old traditional English pub. Okay. How are you doing, you okay? Yeah. And that's the Wadworth. Might have stayed for a bit longer, but uh, said, hello, you okay? Yep. <laughs> that was the end of that. <laughs> so heartbreaker, I've been working you out. You may lose a mistake, but none that you talk about. I'm watching every move you make, and I'm on to you. Come on, heartbreaker, give in and surrender to me. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is our dinner spot for the evening on the Stroud Canal. Found this little beauty on Park for night. Well, the pictures on Park for night depict a much busier site. Just me, myself and Irene here tonight. Beautiful little spot, sheltered by the trees. The lovely canal waterway. Oh, it's always a good feeling when you come to the end of a journey, having your final meal. Although you enjoy your trip away, it's kind of that moment where you're like, yep, yeah, I'll have my meal and I'll go home and sleep in my own bed. <laughs> it's comfy in the van, but you can't beat your own bed. Oh, we've done some traveling on this trip. What have we done? We done Gloucester, Gloucester Cathedral, Gloucester Docks. Then we went to the Cotswolds. We've been to Durham, Durham Park National Trust, and then um, Castle Coombe, Castle Coombe. Good little trip actually, and we only did it in one night. And the night that we actually had was spent outside someone's house. <laughs> little update on the Team U Hall, the U Rig selfie stick. Took it around Durham Park and it worked really, really well actually. Nice and lightweight, can be extended all the way out, all the way in, loosened and opened like so. Don't think I'll be using it much in the van mine because it's a little bit bigger than the normal one that I use just on the GoPro right now. And it takes up quite a bit of space on the desk. But when I'm out hiking, that's a brilliant piece of kit to be able to get some walk pass shots. Couldn't find it anywhere cheaper than on TeamU. So honestly guys, Go and check out the app using my code in the description below. Get yourself the £100 free coupons and go shopping crazy on TeamU. Most of the items on TeamU are less than 10 quid. Like, you would not believe what you can get on there for less than £10. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> Look at them babies. Oh. These are great little things, by the way. Instant Reva mashed potato, chicken flavor, the only flavor I'd go for, from Cool Trader slash Heron Foods, 50p a pot. Was it 50p a pot? Yeah, I think it was 50p a pot, yeah. Pretty good to have in the van, actually. Just add hot water and you've got instant mash. Look at that. Nice, fluffy mashed potato. Oh my God. Look at that. 
Bon Appetit. Is that? No, there can never be too much pork. Let's get a little bit of gravy granules. What a day for gravy. Don't hate me. I do love gravy. <laughs> it's not a bad dinner, is it? <laughs> With a beautiful view, and just as we finished our adventure, the sun starts to shine. Of course it does. Of course it does. Right. Let's try Betty's pork kebabs. Let's have a dip of the potato as well, I think. Mm. Oh. oh my god, that's out of this world. Tikka kebabs, mashed potato and lamb gravy. That's a winning combination. Doesn't sound like it, but trust me, that is absolutely delicious. Right, no more fitting place to end the video than on Stroud Canal, as the sun shines upon us to finish a pretty epic adventure through Gloucester, wider Gloucestershire, and the Cotswolds over the past couple of days. Anyway, we've saved some money, we've had some good views, we've been to some nice places, and now I'm tucking into some nice food. Thank you guys ever so much for joining me for another video. A huge thank you again for Team U for sponsoring today's video, for sending me all the stuff, especially a new piece of filming kit, the Eurig Selfie Stick. I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can go check out Team U, download the app, it's completely free, and you can also get, using my link in the description, £100 worth of free coupons. Right, from Stroud Canal, au revoir. <laughs>